too much too much pointing? You sure? I don't know. I like the pointing. No. Sounds like it's Hey! Abby's backyard edition. Fresh berries and some watermelon and some banana. Like none of those Hello! None of those. Hey guys, I'm Abby Shart. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. It is so nice outside. I thought I'd head on over to the local farmer's market and pick up some of my favorite little fruits here because we're going to have a little backyard barbecue. And often we only put meat on that grill. We put some veggies on there. But I thought we'd make some desserts here with all of my favorite summer fruit. I've got three awesome healthy summer desserts here using the grill and you are going to love of them. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, first up guys, we're gonna make some grilled banana boats. Banana phone, banana phone, banana boat. <laughs> Basically, we're gonna take one of these little bananas, we're going to surgically cut down the center. You don't wanna cut into the banana, you just wanna get into the peel, the little jacket, and then we pry it open. So I'm gonna get some natural peanut butter here. You can use whatever you like, but I love peanut butter. I really get lots in there. It may not look very pretty at first, but trust me, this is gonna taste like a dream. So now I've got some dark chocolate here. Cut it up nice and fine. You can use chocolate chips too. Get in there, load it up, because this is gonna melt down, and like that's the best part. It's gonna turn into this like luxurious chocolate peanut butter pool. You see what's happening? I'm just thinking about it. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I feel like that's that's a healthy amount of chocolate. Now, we fold it up like a gift, like this. And you're gonna, kind of like a present, a banana present. And then you just crimp it over so everybody is sealed in. Will that stay? Hells yes, it will stay. All right, now we go into the grill. It's like the new fashion purse. Hermes by La Banane. Oh yeah. That's a banana if I've ever seen one. We're gonna finish this off with some crushed peanuts and some cacao nibs. All right, next we've got these beauty pieces of watermelon. And I have to get some popsicle sticks and I soaked these. You wanna make sure you soak your popsicle sticks or else they're gonna burn on the grill. So give them a good soak for at least an hour, some water. And of course, that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, right? So very carefully, watch Le Finga. Just gonna get a hole stuck in there. So that you can then lodge that in. So now we've got a watermelon pop. This is awesome, really, all on its own. There's really nothing, no need to do much more. But we're gonna take this to the next level. Now we're gonna make a little mixture here with some lime juice. Got some agave. A little pinch of chili. Actually, I like it spicy. So I'm gonna add a lot of that stuff. So. And I'm gonna do a little pinch of salt. Mix this guy up until that agave dissolves. All right, so I'm just going to brush this in our agave lime juice chili mixture here. And I'm gonna get this onto the grill. Now we're gonna mix together some toasted coconut and grated lime zest. And I'm just gonna mix this together. Now we get to decorate. So we're going to brush this again with a little bit of that same agave mixture. Give it an extra little coating here, right at the tip. Then into our coconut lime mixture. Mm -hmm. Hello sticks all on there. All right, finally we're gonna do my double berry crumble. So I've got some beautiful blueberries. Mm. We're gonna throw some berries down right into the center of this foil pack. Raspberries going down. Keep 
them all into the center like that. A little bit of our tapioca starch. It's gonna help to thicken everything up once those juices start coming out. And some coconut oil, about a tablespoon or so. A Little bit of maple syrup. And I've got some granola here. That's our crumble. There's no need to go to all the trouble of making anything from scratch because we're gonna make this super easy for you. Blow that up. Now we make a pretty little package. And this would be great if you were camping and you just need a little sweet fix. You can make this so easily on your campfire. All right, this is going into our barbecue. Throw a little bit more granola on top, just for a little extra crunch. Got a beautiful dollop here of freshly whipped coconut cream. Maybe a little mint sprig to get fancy. Mm. Sweet, crunchy, mm. kind of creamy as well with that nice coconut cream. Mm. What more could you want? We've got three awesome, easy, grillable recipes that are perfect for your outside barbecue. If you guys like these recipes, be sure to give this video the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below with some of your favorite grilled fruit recipes. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye. Let's get at this. Well, get at me. Well, get at me. No? Get at me? Get at me. Uh-uh, not gonna go there. Uh, when she talks I just put peanut butter in my hair. <laughs> oh, gross. You get a spoon, even if you don't have one, you just, you get one somehow. Somebody got me a spoon! You guys want to see something funny? Let's pick some big ones out for a sec. Stick them in here. Three, two, one. <laughs>